Hey guys, how's it going? Today we'll be looking at a game called Ethyloids 2. This is a very interesting game. It was released back in 2004. And uh, it takes a lot of inspiration from Magic the Gathering. If you go into single player mode, uh, it's very similar to the old Magic the Gathering game called Chandelar from way back in um, the 90s. It was a DOS game that basically you travel across the land and you have duels with people and they're, they're uh, card duels, they're card game duels. So uh, this is very similar to that. Um, this does have uh, an interface very similar to a card game uh, in that you can make a deck and uh, you can summon creatures and spells and cast spells and each of these have different uh, power and toughness just like in Magic. So this is very inspired by Magic Gathering. Uh, and each of these creature creatures have power, toughness, special abilities, etc. And there's also spells in this game and, and uh, different races in this game which are equivalent to colors, I guess, in Magic. Uh, you can either duel with your friend, you can duel uh, online, over LAN, uh, or you can play the single player mode which is basically an adventure mode. So uh, we can go over some of the, the creatures here. We have an encyclopedia of creatures here that they kindly gave us. So this color is what I would call equivalent to the red color in Magic, which is a very aggressive color. You have a lot of uh, aggressive creatures here. Um, you have some wolves, but you have some like warriors, wolves, or whatever. But you have a lot of um, aggressive creatures in this color. And then you have what is uh, equivalent to the green color in Magic. And then you have uh, stuff like tree ants, uh, snakes, mantis, uh, basically nature stuff, which is what green is, ticks, you know, what, what green is really known for is having a lot of uh, big creatures and a lot of creatures that work together. And they have, oh, they have some keywords that are taken straight from magic, like regeneration, a flying first strike, that's taken straight from magic, actually. Uh, trample, that's exactly straight from magic. Um, so yeah, they copied a lot of stuff from magic, but um, yeah, it's very interesting. They they, they do have uh, their own kind of like twist on these, these creatures here. Uh, and then there's the blue color, as you would expect, a lot of flying creatures. And uh, this, yeah, just a lot of uh, elementals. Um, they have some dragons as well, some spirits, basically your typical blue creatures here. And um, what I would consider equivalent to black. This is black creatures. You have some interesting uh, mech. So, so in Magic, we have this race called Phyrexians, which is um, basically a half-mechanical race. Um, for those of you who know the Magic the Gathering lore, uh, the Phyrexians are a bunch of artificial mech creatures. And it looks like they copied that here. They have a, a bunch of mech creatures as well. And uh, yeah, that's, that's very interesting. That's black, I guess. They have a lot of abominations and mechs just like in Magic. Okay, and the next one, well, what I consider equivalent to artifact creatures, because I want to use these creatures, pale creatures. Um, yeah, these are very interesting creatures because you have to do something, like they, you have to play some ability to actually uh, make them appear, otherwise they're just uh, invisible. And um, they can make themselves uh, dissipate, I guess. Well, magic used to have this keyword called phasing, and um, I guess this is similar to phasing in a way. I'm glad they removed that from Magic though, that was a very confusing ability, but anyways, this is from 2004, and in 2004 I guess phasing was still a thing. Okay, and so some other creatures here, uh, but yeah, I'll show you the enchantments, we have different spells as well, enchantments just like in Magic, you have enchantments for each class. Um, green has the, as you would expect, enchantments that increase the power and toughness uh, of creatures and um, basically stuff to do with creatures, that's what you expect from green. Red has stuff that does direct damage and uh, also does increases uh, usually creature, uh, creature power and um, gives you uh, extra mana, I guess. That's, that's what that's what red is known for. And then go to blue. Blue also has some, a lot of uh, creature abilities as well. Um, but mostly it has to do with a lot of creatures with flying abilities. That's what blue is dealt with. And then black has 
uh, a lot of their enchantments as well as dealing with creatures. So, anyways, that's enchantments. And these are the artifact enchantments that are basically colorless, and uh, every class can use these. And then you have these artifacts. Okay, and lastly we have sorceries, which are basically spells. Um, as you would expect, red has a lot of direct damage, or gaining ether. And green has also a lot of gaining ether, which is basically mana. Ether is like mana in this game. And healing, which green also has in magic as well. Blue has stuff like discard, and um, if you guys know magic, blue is well known for having a wide variety of different spells like counter spells and uh, trickery spells returning stuff to their hand uh, and this, that's the case in this game as well. Uh, it has a, a wide variety of spells here. Uh, black usually has stuff drawing cards, destroying creatures, um, very similar to black spells and magic. And artifact spells which are basically colorless spells uh, which we don't really have in magic but uh, we have it here. And okay, that's that's about it. And then we have some artifacts here. Some artifacts here as well. So yeah, let's just play a game of multiplayer. And I'm gonna do hot seat because I don't have a LAN connection or internet uh, connection because no one really plays this game right now uh, since it's from 2004 and it's not really a well-known game so not many people play it. But I'll just show you, uh, show you how this game works. Um, so you can create a deck you can create a deck in this game just like in Magic the Gathering. And uh, yeah, you can just choose from the, all the spells that I uh, talked about. You have all the spells and you choose between the red class, the green class, the blue class, the black class, and uh, these, these four classes basically is, is what they have. Um, and we already went, went over all these spells and enchantments and creatures anyway, so you know what, what it's about. Uh, so. Whenever you make a deck, you have a total of 16 active spells and 16 reserve spells. And you have a certain resource level you can play at, up to 3. And you can increase your level of your hero. And the higher the level you have, the more resources it will take up. So, yeah. So if you want your hero to be a high level, have more health, and stuff, then uh, it's going to take up some of your resources. And I think the resource level you play at is like how advanced a game you want, I think. So if you want like resource level 1, that's basically a basic game. You want basic creatures, uh, resource level 2 is going to be more advanced creatures, and level 3 is going to be like the expert level of creatures, spells, um, hero level, etc. And then you can choose a specialization. A lot of these specialization is going to depend on your hero. You can see exactly what these are each time, but it, it really depends on your hero, which is basically your class. See, all, all these are different per class, and they're very specific to the type of creatures and spells that this class has. Okay, and uh, available skills. You have some available skills here, and uh, some artifacts as well, which all of these will take up resources. So I'll show you the deck that I made, actually. So I'm going to take you resource level 3. Um, actually number one round. You can choose your arena here, but I'm just going to choose random. Okay, so here's a deck that I made. Um, I made a deck called Snakes. Okay, I did this deck. Okay, so I made this deck, and uh, it's based on snakes. And each time a snake deals damage to an enemy hero, the power toughness uh, increased by one, and uh, basically they just have effects. So anything, anything that receives damage, then it deals one damage to a hero at the end of a turn, then they get poisoned basically, and this is another poison uh, enchantment that enchants someone and then poisons them. And then for my uh, specialization, I obviously chose a snake specialization. So uh, whenever a snake bites an enemy hero, there's a chance they'll be poisoned and it'll take damage every subsequent turn. Uh, I have some active skills here, regeneration every third turn, regenerates one point of health, cast spell up to two times. Um, better chance for the specialization to work. Uh, life increased by 10% and one additional spell every fourth turn. And I didn't choose any artifacts because they would take up too much uh, resources. So uh, I don't really use much artifacts anyway. I don't 
basically they're just reusable um, they're just enchantments with some activated abilities and I don't really use it too much so yeah this is a hero that I made it's a it's a green deck so I made this deck and uh, we're gonna use this deck in battle okay so I'm gonna go with that and then player two um let's see it's gonna be a level three deck for sure it's gonna be like cobalts, razors, snakes, ogres, hoppers, mantises. Okay, let's choose. Um, well, since I since I guess I'm playing here, let's just choose razors. Okay, so ba this is basically what it's like. You, it's basically a, a card game, except uh, actually, let me let me hide this here. Okay, auto hide this. Let's hide this. Okay. So it doesn't get in the way. Okay. Okay. So um, if any of you guys know Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds, um, the Wizards of the Coast released that game back in 2009, and it was basically like this, except it wasn't as good. I think they didn't implement it as well. I think Ethelords implemented this uh, 3D card strategy uh, type of game better because you can actually see your heroes physically and you can just use your spells you can see your spells in your hand like here you can see exactly how much life your hero has your ether pool your uh, ether channels which is basically uh, how much mana you generate every turn this is how much mana you generate every turn this is your current mana and um, you can see your graveyard right enchantments your hand your artifacts and I think Wizards of the Coast should have made it like this they should have made a Magic the Gathering game like this um, but instead they chose to go with Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds which was basically a very poor version wasn't well implemented and then they got rid of that and now they're just doing duels of the Planeswalkers which is just um, a kiddie version of Magic Online in my opinion okay so uh, and to end your phase you just press that so simple Okay, so I'm cast a snake. Yep, so you, you just press the card to cast it. And yeah, I've got two mana, so I got one mana, one mana left. I got one mana left, you can see I've used up my mana pool here. And that's it. They have summoning sickness, which is bas basically the same thing they have in Hearthstone and Magic they have here as well. So the thing is, uh, we're actually playing Hot Seat, which is basically, uh, well me and my brother played this back in the day, but basically you and another player would basically take turns on the same seat. Um, and this was the days of split screen, so uh, back then when people actually you know, you know, played on the same computer and used split screen and stuff. This one's a Hot Seat back then, when people actually had stuff like land games, we don't even have land games anymore. Okay, so... I'm gonna summon this seven four creature. This is a pretty strong creature. Okay, so um, I had to sacrifice a creature to make him attack, basically. Uh, so this is another example of a creature that. Um, so black is known for creatures that have some effects that you had to do like pay life or sacrifice creatures to, and in the re in return to having a big creature for the cost, which is. This thing costs 4 mana, 4 ether, sorry, uh, for 7 4. So it's pretty big. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, poison him. Alright. And attack. It's the easiest just to attack him with that. And uh, let's see. Okay, so this is a block phase. Uh, just like in Magic, we have a block phase. Uh, I'm gonna block this guy, so I'm gonna kill it. Okay, 
Okay, so just like in Magic, you have a block phase and your creature regenerates the health. Uh, unlike Hearthstone, Hearthstone your creature does not regenerate the health, you know, if you take damage, but in Magic and at the Lords, your creature regenerates the health after they block and they don't die. And, uh, yeah. Okay, pay one to get up target creature. I'm gonna play this in Shaman. Okay, so I'm gonna sh show my enchantments here. Yeah, I can attack with this thing. Yeah, you guys have to see this again because uh, we're playing Hossi. So unfo unfortunately, everything plays twice. It's for the other player. Alright, so this guy can't block because he uh, already attacked. This is a feature in Magic known as tapping. So when your creature is tapped, this doesn't happen to Hearthstone, but it happens in Magic. When your creature attacks, it's basically used up, it's tapped, and I can't block it anymore, so I have to take the damage. Alright. And he gets poisoned, of course. Okay, I'm gonna poison him again. Uh, and keep attacking with this guy. He already attacked, so he can't block. Pretty big. Alright. Attack with this guy again. Seven damage, and he has a blocker as well. Well, I shall take it. I said I want to go through. guys to block. I have. Uh, I'm gonna move this one. And. This can't. Can we cast in block face? Nice. Okay. Attack. So, 9 6, I definitely have to block that. I'm gonna want to take 9 damage. So just like in Magic, you can block multiple creatures with one creature. I mean, you can block one creature with multiple creatures, just like in Magic, and combine their damage. And, uh... Nine damage is a lot, yeah. Don't wanna buy it. Taking seven from that. Yeah. Okay. Half 
me to summon more creatures. More snakes. Summon all my snakes. Okay, so his, his creature is still up, which means that he can still block. Um, so I'm not gonna attack. Another 9-6, awesome. And drain 5 points of ether one. And attack. 7-4. And I will definitely have to kill this one. I'm only at 27. I guess I only lose one snake because of it, since I attack first when I'm blocking. 9-6 now. No. Attack with him. Attack, attack with everyone. This one, obviously. Yep. Take a lot of it. Yep. It's, uh, every time I deal damage, get venom. So that's why I have the stuff coming out from under the ground and hurting and hurting him because of the venom, the poison. Okay. But that's a good thing is I can remove some of that since I have the spell that can remove some of this enchantment. Okay. Two of it actually. Yeah, I can remove these. Train Ether. And put on a 7 4. Attack with a 9 6. Obviously, strongest one. All right, 
right, so... Should be able to use this enchantment now. Um, this enchantment. Pay two F and two life, return to our creature from my graveyard to play. That's awesome. So we play, we're turning that little like nine six from my graveyard to play. And by the way, the two play that that wording is exactly from Magic. It used to say uh, graveyard to play. Now it says graveyard to battlefield. But now it's it used to be graveyard to play. Exactly just like Magic. And uh, I'm gonna use this ability, pay one at the get up target creature, get that one up. Alright, so you can attack. Go, go, go. One more turn and he's dead. So I just gotta enchant him with this. All I all I have to do is just block now. All I have to do is just block and just wait one more turn. Do is just survive this turn and I can win. Yeah, so it doesn't matter, I, can, I still win because uh, he's gonna die now from the poison. Yep. There he's dead. Keeps coming up. <laughs> Alright, now the second player has to see the death as well. The replay. Ethelords 2, 
and uh, that's basically what this game is about. It's about dueling people using um, making your own decks, a lot like Magic the Gathering. I think that this is what Magic the Gathering should have been if they made a 3D type of game and they want to make, uh, you know, actual 3D type of gameplay. And this is what Magic the Gathering should have, uh, what Wizards of the Coast should have tried to make. It's a game like this. Instead, they make the disappointment that was Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds, but we shall never talk about that. Um, yeah, Athelot's 2 is a good game. I feel like it's really underrated, not many people know about it, and unfortunately, they haven't made a sequel in, in over 10 years, but um, yeah, this game is pretty cool. I think Wizards of the Coast should definitely take something from this game, and uh, if they ever want to make a 3D magic game, not like an actual card game like Magic Online or Duels of Planeswalkers. If they actually want to make a 3D type of game, then I think Ethelords 2 is a good example of a pretty simple to play, easy to make decks. Um, something that could be like easy and easy to learn and easy to play like this. It took me like no time at all to learn how to play this game. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Ethelords 2.